6 things which you should not do when using EasyBot as your crypto trading bot because this could cost you a lot of money. So make sure to watch this video till the end and avoid the mistakes in order to save some more profits and not close any trades in loss. And if you like this video, I would love you to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, of course, and also leave me down below a comment. Uh, if you have any questions or if you need any support, you can also text me anytime on Telegram, especially if you love EasyBot as much as me and you want to join EasyBot, if you want to start trading with at least $600 and an advanced package, because if so, Please make sure to watch my video to the EasyBot Founders Club because there I explained to you where you can make even more profit with EasyBot on a regular basis in order to get access to the Founders Club. It's not only me, but I also want you to become part of the Founders Club. And this is why everyone who wants to start with at least $600, who wants to buy an advanced package and maybe even build a network marketing with this, um, I'm here to help you and also to support you and even to sponsor your links in my YouTube videos and my Telegram channel and so on. So if you really mean it serious with EasyBot, contact me on Telegram. You will find my name down below. And now let's start with the video and the six things you should not do when trading with EasyBot in order to save some money. The first thing you should not do is putting your entire money in trading just one coin pair. Let's say you have just $600 and you decide to start trading with one coin pair, whatever it is, don't do so. Better go to KuCoin where you can start trading um, using the EasyBot even with $300 per coin and split it to two coins. It's much better for the risk management to separate trading bots for different coins rather than putting all your money in just one basket and trading one coin pair, even if this coin pair currently is having the best results. The second thing you should not do is just changing your pots day in and day out because you have seen and heard somewhere that the other bot like Aver is performing better than Uniswap or CurveDAO or whatever it is. Okay, don't change it every day because first of all, really matter when you have your entry point, okay? Everyone will have different profits depending on when they started, the entry point, if they used the standard configurations or not, and so on and so forth. So just don't switch it every day. Because also, um, let's say last week uh, it didn't perform well, but next week it can perform really, really well and really it, it does depend also on the market situation, okay? So don't just change it all the way back and forth. The number three of things you should not do is also correlated to the thing before. And this also is part of the point before. If you want to change your coins, don't just inactivate it, but put it first on single cycle. And once the cycle is finished, only then the, it will become inactive by itself. So let's have a look at the dashboard on how it looks and how you can deactivate like a bot and how you should do this if you want to switch the coin or if you want to stop trading for whatever reasons. So one thing of course is you can just go here uh, on editing your bot and on the status you can see active and of course you could just head to inactive and save it. But this is the thing you should not do. But you go to cycle, bot option cycle and you put it on single. This means that once your tr current trade is closed it will automatically become inactive and you can delete the, the bot. You can do whatever you want to, right? Change the balance. Um, this is also a thing you should not do, just changing the balance when you have an open trade. Okay, don't do this. If you want to change the balance, also please just put it first on single cycle. Once the cycle is over, go back to your balance here and change the balance then another thing which i know i have to admit sometimes is really tempting to do but you should really really not do and this is one of the worst thing you can do is putting too much money or assign too much money to easyboard or assigning more money to easyboard than you actually have in your binance or kucoin exchange um, i have tested it in my first video if you still remember and yes you can do you can have like only one thousand dollars on Binance, but assign 
like two or three bots, three thousand dollars uh, each, one thousand dollars, so a total of three thousand dollars. Yes, it is possible, but don't do. You are removing liquidity from the bot, and the bot is configured this way that even the market falls at least. 50% is still coverable with EasyBot and EasyBot would still make profit for you. And actually it even can be up to 90% of market loss and your bot can still make profits for you as soon as the market goes up again. But if you're removing liquidity, you have a much, 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 much higher chance that you will end the trade with loss. So don't, don't do this. Yes, I know you also can have like more profits and you can do it technical wise but don't do it really it can be the worst and we still want to trade safe we prefer to have a bit less profit but on a continuously and ongoing basis rather than losing all our money right so just take it so please take this advice really seriously the next thing you should not do is never having a look at easybot at all i know easybot is set up to be easy and it's trading for us, so we don't have to do much. But at least once a week, you should have a look at your EasyBot dashboard and see if everything is going well. And what you should have a look at, I'll show you now. So first of all, you should have a look at your bots and you check if all your bots are still active. So you can see here it's a green tick. If it's not active, you will see here it's a red X. So have a look. If it's a red X, you can just go there, see what's happened why it's not trading anymore if you don't have enough balance in your Binance because yeah you just assigned too much money or changed anything there and sometimes just because of an update it might be inactive but there's actually nothing happened so you can just turn it to active and let it go then the other point you should have a look at is your wallet not your Binance wallet but your EasyBot wallet that you have here some balance left to pay your 20 to 30 percent service free from all the profit easybot is making if you don't have any balance here left easybot will stop trading for you so we don't want it right especially maybe if the bot wants to rebuy something this can be really yeah sad um so don't do this have a look regularly and make sure that you have enough balance here on easybot to keep on trading the last thing you should avoid doing is changing anything in your bot without knowing what you are doing so if you don't know what you are doing 100 percent please just don't do it and just use the default configurations okay easybot is really made with a great strategy have a look at my previous videos about it if you don't understand how easybot is trading for you yeah, we can tick off and don't use the default configurations. We can also assign more or less balance than um, expected and also change the initial order size or the percentage here and also deactivate the compounding. But whatever you are changing here from the default configuration, don't do it if you don't know 100% what you are doing because this can mean that you are giving the bot much, much higher risk to close your trades even in loss. And this is something which we really want to avoid. So if you want, for whatever reasons, change something in the default configurations, me, I personally the only trade with the default configurations, then please contact your support, contact the support from EasyBot or your upline and uh, discuss these matters before doing so. I hope this video was helpful in order to avoid some mistakes you should do with EasyBot or not do with EasyBot. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and then we'll see each other in the next video. The next video about EasyBot will be like an Excel file, most probably, which I will give to you where you can track your profits on a daily or monthly basis so you can compare it much better and also see the actual profit of each trade of each coin pair and also have it great visible in a chart. So if you would like to see something like this, then leave it down below in the comments so I can put it like, so I can take care of it much sooner um, if there's a lot of demand for it. So that's it for now and see you in the next video.